Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Asian Psycho, aka Toe Sniper 98. So, uh, welcome to the first Wales Log of 2022. Woohoo. So, let's get right into it. Characters. Um, so, uh, let's see. For the past month, who are our new characters? We got Ito, and we got Ito Goro, and then with um, 2.3, and then uh, Shenha Yunjin with. Uh, 2.4, which was basically just the, yesterday or just the other day uh, at the time of this video recording. So, uh, let's go over them real quick. First of all, let's go over the 2.3, 2. yeah, 2.3 characters first. So here's Ito. Uh, I got him to C2. Originally, my uh, intention was to um, get him to, what is it? Originally, my intention was to get him to C4. Uh, back when I first rolled him, and then we and then we realized, or and then we we learned that uh, Shenha was voiced by Kawasami Ayako, and then all of those plans went out the fucking window. Uh, but for what it is, for what it's worth, he is uh, C two, which honestly Ito is good enough at C one. If I feel, if uh, if I'm gonna be if I'm gonna be honest, like a C four is good, and a C six is you know absolutely bonkers, but um, you know. His C2 is is um, is perfectly fine. C1 is ideal. But anyways, let's take a look at his kit um, at a at a at a hole here, or his entire kit at a glance here. Uh, 18 18.2k max HP. Uh, he scales off defense. Obviously, his defense is really fucking high. Um, let's see, take a look at his stat line. 77.5% crit rate. 205.8% uh, crit damage with a 44% energy recharge and uh, the regular geo, bo geo, bonus da yeah, geo bonus damage early in the morning so I can't speak English obviously he has a copy of um, Red, Ho Red Horn uh, Stone Thresher why this weapon gives you 88% 88.2% uh, 88 crit damage at level 90 is beyond me <laughs> like who thought it was a good idea giving uh a weapon like this <laughs> who thought it was a good idea giving any any weapon fucking 88 percent uh extra crit damage <laughs> what the fuck well that aside um let's see he has that obviously he's level 90 himself with the level 90 weapon artifacts so uh wait while waiting for him and goro to come out i did uh, take a little bit of time to farm some um some husk pieces and i was fortunate enough to get uh some decent ones for him so let's see. Let's where's this cup? We can start with that one first. Managed to roll an inset um, geo bonus damage cup uh, with some thick uh, defense percent uh, crit rate and energy recharge. Uh, obviously, it rolled I think twice the flat attack. Obviously, it would've been nice if these went to like crit rate instead, but that's fine. Uh, uh, Ito already has like fucking seventy-seven point five percent crit rate anyway. So at that point, I'd rather prioritize his energy recharge stats instead. Should probably lock that. <clears throat> uh, Timepiece, defense percent with the double crit as well. Double crit, one roll into uh, a flat HP, which sucks, but that's fine. Uh, everything else went into um, into his rele relevant stats. Energy recharge, crit damage. Uh, Feather, this one rolled. This one was interesting. This rolled. Uh, I don't. I forget if this was a four line start or a three line start, but it did roll double crit. And then I rolled, I think, twice into EM, but the rest into crit damage. So I guess I can't complain, but obviously it would have been nice if these uh, EM rolls went to, like, crit rate instead. Or at the very least, energy recharge. Though, to be honest, he's, Ito doesn't really need more than 44% energy recharge. He, he, he He's actually perfectly fine at, like, only 20 or 30% bonus energy recharge. As long as he has another uh, Geo battery with him, like Goro or something. Uh, this is his flower. Got a bit of a uh, crit rate there. Along with the uh, energy recharge and a good bit of a uh, defense percent, so seeing that he scales off a of defense percent, obviously that's not bad. And then finally, his helmet. This helmet actually rolled very well, um, uh, so it became his off piece crit rate, and then it rolled like I'm pretty sure this is a three line start, and it rolled flat defense, but only once, uh, as you can see, and then the rest into uh, once into energy recharge and the rest into crit damage. So it's probably a one one three roll. But yeah, uh, all those combined, he uh, has a pretty sick um, stat line. If I do say so myself, like seventy seven point five and two hundred five percent crit damage. Like that's that's pretty that's pretty pockers, my dude. 
if I might be a, a Twitch frog for a moment. I mean, I am one, but still. Uh, only level 6 talents because I believe he takes Ashen Hearts. We have s a problem with uh, a lot of the new characters is that uh, they're all competing for... Uh, what is it? They're all competing for the new... Um, the Signoro Domain uh, materials. All the, all the burning whatever the fucks. Like Ashen Hearts, Hellfire Butterflies, and whatever the third material is whose name I'm, I'm forgetting at the moment. Uh, molten Hearts, uh, I think they're called. No, Ashen Hearts and the Molten Moments or whatever the fuck. Um, yeah. Uh, confusingly, even Shunha and Yunjin also want, uh, those materials too, if I'm not mistaken, right? Like, we can check Shunha's, uh, talent materials, and it should tell us what, which ones she wants. Yeah, Hellfire Butterflies, and which ones, uh, which ones do, um, uh, do Yun Yunjin want? Uh, what does Yunjin want? Yeah, Ashen Hearts too. It's like, why do these Chinese characters that just released, uh, like, Two days ago, why do Yunjin and Shunha want uh, weekly materials from a completely different region? Like, what? Why? Where's the sense in that? Like, Ito obviously I understand because he's from Minazuma, right? So yeah, fine, make him uh, take uh, take the Senora weekly domain uh, stuff. But why Shunha and Yunjin? I don't get it, man. Um, hopefully, hopefully, uh, Mihoyo puts in a way for us to convert. Like, for example. Let me, if I might show you here. Um, hopefully, hopefully, Mihoyo gives us, like, a way to, like, convert, like, the other uh, weekly domain stuff. Uh, the other weekly uh, trounce domains or whatever whatever the fuck domains they're called, um, officially. Into, uh, like, the newer materials, right? Like, uh, at this point, like, pretty soon, I'm going to run out of characters to give these uh, Devala materials to. Like, I already, I have fucking 17 of these Devalin size. Like, no, I'm, and I'm, and like I said, I'm running out of people to give these things to. So once I do completely run out of, uh, of characters to give these Devalin size to, right? Barring, like, you know, uh, crown stuff, uh, which, you know, that likely won't happen. Uh, like, I'm just gonna be sitting on piles of these things, uh, with, you know, given, given time enough, right? So why not just be able to let us convert these at like you know I wouldn't even mind if they if they make us uh, make us do something like oh you need to have three of these materials to convert into one of like the more recent ones like that's fine too because you know we're gonna have so many of these things it's like any trade is worth it by that point right as long as it's not like overly expensive uh, to trade in for but uh, yeah. Hopefully they do give us a way to trade in like the older uh, weekly domain stuff for the newer ones. Otherwise, uh, all the newer uh, weekly boss materials, uh, specifically the ones that Signora drops, they're always going to be in super high demand, and they're going they're always going to be in super low supply. Especially because like I can't rem remember the last time I've ever gotten I've gotten like a a triple weekly drop weekly mat drop from Signora. So I've always uh, I've always only gotten like two, because you can get either two or three. Uh, of the weekly weekly mats uh, per per drop, so so yeah. Hopefully they do something about that. But in the meantime, uh, where's uh, where's Ito again? Have I am I am I done talking about Ito's ass? So six to six talents. Even at regular, even at just six to six talents, though, he actually does quite a bit of damage, uh, like upwards of like forty four k on his last uh, special charge attack, which is pretty fucking sweet. So. I'm very happy with Ito. Uh, I'm I'm also uh, very satisfied with his uh, with his style and gameplay, considering he's a uh, Claymore user who uh, focuses on charge attacks uh, in a game where usually, unless your name is Noel, uh, if you're a Claymore user, you just say fuck your charge attacks because uh, those are way too slow and time intensive. But uh, yeah, they did a good job with uh, Ito's uh, charge attacks, and making them actually worthwhile to worthwhile uh, to use. And, uh, and fun too. But yeah, that's my Ito there. Uh, I will be making... I don't know when I'll be uh, focusing on his talents because obviously they, he takes Ashen Hearts because uh, I do want to prioritize the other characters' um, talents first. Like Ito's cool and all, but he ain't a waifu. And I play this game for the waifus mainly. Um, but yeah, there's Ito. Uh, where's Goro? Goro should be around here somewhere. There he is. So, Goro, uh, show you his stat line real quick. His stat line is a little bit unbalanced at the moment because he has 73% crit rate, but only 68% crit damage. Uh, so, obviously, ideally, 
uh, he wants a little bit more crit damage, but he's mainly a support anyway, so it's not going to matter too much. Uh, more importantly, he has 65% energy recharge because... Uh, oh, there goes my alarm. What the fuck? Shut up! Shut up, phone! I get it. I need to wake up. Wake up, chat! Dink dunk! Uh, how much does this all cost again? That was my original question, right? 80. So yeah, him Goro having good energy recharge is very important because so that he can um he can pop his all as much uh he can pop off on his ult as much as possible. So uh, energy recharge is a good thing for him. Um, let's see. Surprisingly, even with a uh, even with this stat with this crit stat line, my Goro I've seen my Goro pop like 10k, 11k damage per uh per skill pop, and that's quite high. Uh, considering Goro is mainly supposed to be a support buffer, uh, specific and specifically for Geo too, uh, so uh, when I saw that, I was quite surprised. Uh, just seeing Goro just pump out those kinds of numbers. Obviously, he's not. A, you know, obviously those are just single instances of instances of damage, uh, and they're not anything to like really like be wowed over. But it certainly took me took me by surprise seeing him pop numbers like that every time I press E with him. Uh, so I may do something ridiculous and go back uh, to farming husk. Um, does he want four piece husk? Actually, I know I had. I know I gave him four piece husk for the time being. He might not even want four piece husk to be to be honest with you, because like the four the four piece set for husk um, really only benefits like de hard dedicated geo characters, um, or sorry, hard yeah hard dedicated uh, geo characters technically. Uh, defense scaling um, Geo characters. So like Noel, um, Ito, I think those are the two main ones. I think everyone else is like Goro. Either everyone else is either like Geo support or Geo DPS or Geo supporter. Like Geo but doesn't scale with the defense like uh, Ningguang I think. I actually don't know what Ningguang scales with. She probably just scales like attack or something. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe she doesn't even scale with anything at all in the first place. But um... Yeah, I don't even think yeah, four piece husk is even ideal on him. Maybe I'll give him some something else like uh two piece emblem or some shit like that. Just a two piece emblem, two piece husk, just so he can it charges uh charges um uh ult even faster. But uh yeah, for for the time being since I had farmed uh husk pieces to to for a good bit, uh, I just decided to give him a lot of the uh the spare uh husk pieces that I had leveled up in preparation for uh for Ito. And uh, surprisingly, it works. Uh, even he's he, surprisingly where he works very well, even just with this with this scuffed ass setup. So happy with him actually. That means that uh, Goro uh, shouldn't be all that uh, high investment to get the most to get some mileage out of. Especially if you are already like a a Geo enthusiast or even a Geo main be uh, before this, before Ito and um, Goro came out. So that's a good thing. Uh, naturally, he is C six because I went for C two uh, Ito. So there you go. Uh, C6 Goro, very strong. Talents, naturally, 666. Again, he takes um, multiple moments. And uh, yeah, those are in uh, high de quite high demand, aren't they? So uh, other than that, that's about it. Uh, weapons, uh, he's got Sackbo. Uh, again, I'm partial to the uh, to Sackbo just so that, um, you know, uh, just so that uh, he charges his ult even faster. I would I would actually vouch for a Sackbo over uh, Favonius Bow, for example, on Goro because he's he's working with Geo teams. He should be working with Geo teammates anyway, either another one or or two other Geo teammates. So uh, I think that Favonius Bow is not as important on him for the additional uh, because Favonius Bow uh, charges uh, the entire parties. Uh, energies, right? Because of the if, because of its uh, crit mechanic of like generating extra particles whenever it crits. Um, and Sackbo is just as good, if not better, on Goro because again, most of his teammates should be Geo, or at least half the at least half the team should be Geo. So he's already charging. Uh, you know, he's already serving as a Geo battery anyway. So that's just my take on it. Obviously, if you uh, are if you're still a firm if you're still a firm be believer in uh, Favonius Warbow, then um, stick with that. But uh, considering I already have a Sackbow, I've, I've, I'm sitting on like multiple level 80 Sackbows. I think maybe just two. I'm not sure. Uh, 
uh, I decided to give him this one. He's been working very well with it, so I can't complain. Maybe I'll get this shit to a uh, level 92, because he should be level 90 himself, right? Yeah. Uh, what do, do, what's it take again? Tuesday, Friday? Okay, so for tomorrow. Maybe I'll farm uh, materials for tomorrow. For a sack bow and another stuff. So yeah, there's my Goro. Uh, just in case you, you're curious as to what his uh, artifact uh, subsets are. Again, these are leftover pieces, so they're not going to be the greatest, obviously. I mean, you could, call, you could already tell from um, from seeing his uh, crit stats just... just on their own, a um, little bit of defense percent, uh, quite a bit of energy recharge. So actually, this is this one isn't bad, with, along with some uh, some crit rate, defense percent, uh, time piece, <laughs> surprisingly double crit, along with uh, some energy recharge. I want the mastery. Obviously, EM is not very is not very useful here. Uh, random ass feather I had with the double crit. Uh, flower again, random ass flower with double crit. Surprise! This is funny because this one rolled a lot into a uh, uh, into attack percent and defense percent. Kind of cracked me up uh, the way this 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 thing rolled. Uh, obviously, I would I would have liked uh, one less attack uh, percent roll and, and instead another one into crit damage. But you know whatever. <laughs> and then uh, the only uh, inset crit rate um, husk hat that I was able to find for him uh, that you know I mean this is still uh, this is still pretty garbage. But hey, you know. Uh, beggars can't be choosers, that kind of thing. Hey, at least it, oh, at least it has a uh, flat defense and an uh, energy recharge copium. But uh, yeah, ideally, I'd like to find a better uh, crit rate hat for him, or something like that. Or I could just say fuck it and just uh, go uh, go full uh, defense percent. Honestly, uh, though, I'm actually not sure if there are defense percent cups. There should be, right? Do we have any? Is defense percent cup, percent cup a thing? Yeah, it is. So yeah. I could just go full defense percent on that too, and see what happens. But um, yeah, I think uh, I think honestly, uh, using a crit, a crit based set on Goro is actually not bad either. I mean, any support technically could use uh, a crit a crit based uh, artifact set unless your name is Kakomi, uh, and they should honestly still be fine as long as your other characters are well built too. So yeah, there you go. There's a uh, Goro for now. So Goro, 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 and then let's see. Oh, we've already covered Ito. Next, let's go over our 2.4 characters, starting with Shenha first. So I see six Shenha, as you can see here. Uh, to took me uh, a solid grand to do that. There goes my wallet for for this month, uh, for Genshin. But yeah, um, she is still a work in progress. Uh, as you'll see in a little bit, but for now, uh, this is what her stats look like: about 20k HP, 19.5k uh, to to be specific, uh, 2300 attack. I'm surprised her attack is that high. It's probably because of um, all of other shit, all of other stuff. I think she also scales with attack percent too, so there's that. Um, her crit rate and crit damage are obviously pretty scuffed because uh, I don't have a working, uh, I don't have a fully fledged uh, artifact set for her yet. Uh, though I do plan on working on her uh, artifacts as soon as I'm, I've taken care of some other stuff. Uh, she has a lot of energy recharge though, 86.8% though. Uh, because I believe her ult also costs like 80 or 70 or some shit like that. 80, yeah, so it's another 80 cost ult. And uh, yeah, that's what, she's, that's what she's working with for now. I did roll a, set, uh, I did roll a copy of Calamity Queller for her. Uh, so she's got that to enjoy. Uh, it's only level 50 though, so I need to enhance this. I think it takes, uh, materials on Tuesday and Friday domain, so it's later today. At the time of this video recording, so I'll make sure to get the shit to, uh, level 90. Soon as, uh, soon as the domain opens up. Excuse me. It's kind of a stuffy nose. Uh, what else? Yeah, so her artifact set. Currently, I plan on giving her a full support-oriented artifact set. Um, I actually do want to give her a crypt base set, just like uh, the one that I have for Goro. Um, it's just that obviously uh, trying to farm for those is going to take a little bit longer. Uh, that and ideally, I want to give her uh, some good cryo pieces for you know to buff her cryo damage, even though she's even though she's not supposed to be the one doing damage. I figure it's, it'll it'll still be pretty funny. Um, 
But I want to say that until I can finally degen farm, like I keep mentioning over the past uh, couple of uh, whales logs, I'm pretty sure for Genshin. Uh, I want to save that for when I finally get around to degening uh, Hydro and Cryo Domain again with my fucking 87 or however many frag resins I have uh, right now. So, yeah, that is uh, what I p plan on doing for Shunha. Uh, but yeah, since her artifact set is still a work in progress, um, obviously it's uh, obviously her, her, her stats are a little bit scuffed. This one is pretty funny. It's an attack percent with double crit. <laughs> but at least it did roll three times in a jury charge, so I can't complain about that. Uh, along with this, whatever the fuck this is. And then uh, attack percent uh, timepiece. I'm surprised she has so much energy recharge considering she doesn't scale her ascension stat is an energy recharge and her spear doesn't have uh, energy recharge main stat either and I don't think it has any energy recharge as per its uh its uh its um passive effect so so a lot of it's coming coming from her circlet where else is it coming from I think her yeah cup has a little bit uh, I guess her timepiece has a little bit too oh yeah that's right the feather this feather used to be my Kokomi's feather. Uh, before I switched it, but back when she still was she when she was still working with um, was it four piece uh, hydro, uh, but now that she's on uh, four piece um, ocean hue, uh, I get I decided to just give it give this one to um, who is it to uh, my uh, Shunha for the time being, just so that she can have it. She has something she has something to work with. I may give this feather to uh, Mona actually. What is uh, what is Mona's feather? Actually, I don't know. I don't know if this is. I don't know if this is worth beating. I would. I would have to somehow make up for all these uh, crit stats and all of her other artifacts. So I don't know if it's worth trying to replace this feather just for some extra energy recharge. But in any case, and this is her flower. Basically, all uh, all except for like her. I guess her cup and her um, her circlet. All the other artifacts are like hand me downs from uh, from other characters. Like just random, uh, random artifacts I had lying around. So, there you go. Uh, Constellation C6 is obviously, and then Talent uh, 999 or 699. Uh, she takes what is it? Hellfire butterflies. So I do want to make Shunha my uh, next, uh, my next triple crown candidate after Kokomi, but I will talk about Kokomi later. So yeah, uh, that is the reason why I'm not giving um, Ito, at least not for now, I'm not giving Ito any um, of the uh, Signora Weekly boss mats because I'm trying to save them for both my Kokomi and my, um, and my Shunha. So there you go. There's my uh, Shunha. Still a work in progress, obviously. For now, I'll uh, build her full support oriented with a triple attack percent. And later, I think I'll transition her at some point to a, l a little bit more of a DPS-focused uh, artifact set. Uh, even though obviously she herself is not meant to be is not meant to be the one doing damage. Obviously, she's more of a cryo buffer, so she's supposed to be supporting uh, other people like Ganyu and, and whatnot. So, but uh, those are my plans for Shunha for now. In case you're wondering why I see six uh, Shunha, uh, voice actress reasons. Kawasumi Ayako is a legendary voice actress. And in fact, uh, she was the one who uh, got me into gacha games uh, back when I first re-rolled re -rolled from my uh, FGO account four and a half years ago. So uh, I guess uh, things come full circle, don't they? All right, let's take a look at uh, Yunjin now. Yunjin is only level 80 for the time, for the time being, uh, mainly because uh, I don't have enough fucking gems. I have everything, el I have everything else, though. But um, I will probably convert like my other gems uh, that I have available into ge into um, uh, geo gemstones, just so that I can hasten the process a little bit. Uh, but I'll do that later. Uh, this this is her crit stats for now. Again, Yunjin's artifact set is a work in progress because I didn't really focus on farming artifacts for uh, either of them, for either Shenhe or um, or or Yunjin. So currently her artifact, her crit rate is pretty lackluster at only uh, 57%. She does have a pretty beefy crit damage uh, crit damage stat though. I don't know how the hell she has uh, so much crit damage. But uh, she has decent energy recharge at 47.2%. This is her weapon. I don't know. I actually don't know what weapon I want to give. Um, I want to give to Yunjin actually. I actually do not know. 
Uh, I'm thinking either Deathmatch or uh, Primordial, Primordial Jade Spear, but um, considering Yunjin isn't exactly meant to be a DPS, uh, I'm thinking maybe I just give her. Um, I, I was like, uh, I, I might as well just give her Deathmatch instead, because at, at the very least, Deathmatch is probably more, uh, probably a little more useful for her. That, and I want, I want to level up Deathmatch anyway, just because it's uh, one of the BP weapons and it's a uh, crit rate main stats. So. There you go. That and funnily enough, Deathmatch has a higher uh, base crit rate stat than fucking uh, primor Primordial Jade Spear for whatever reason. <laughs> I think this thing has around like what, 33% crit rate uh, main stat at uh, level 90 or something like that. Whereas Primordial Wing Spear only has like 22% or something like that. So, So yeah, there you go. So that is what she is using for now. Uh, I do want to put a more DPS-oriented uh, artifact set and weapon for her, though. So I guess death deathmatch is isn't isn't uh, is is okay. Um, mainly because she's a parry, right? She's our second parry character, and uh, she does put out some decent numbers with her parry. Uh, not as much as my beta, though, obviously, because claymore supremacy. But um, I do want to make make her parries parries actually worth worth um, going for, so that she does some decent damage at least uh, with the parries uh, with the parries at least. Uh, Artifact set she only has two piece husk uh, again just like Goro because she's more of a support character uh, thanks to her ult. Um, I don't think four piece husk is the way to go on her, so probably two piece husk and uh, two piece something else like two piece emblem for example is probably the way to go on her. So yeah, she already has a uh, she already has two uh, husk pieces, and so I just need to give her uh, two uh, uh, um, a replacement two piece like emblem or some shit like that uh, later on. Uh, this is her cup. I, this is a spare uh, geo bonus damage cup that I had lying around. So I just I just decided to give that to her for her to work with until maybe I can roll something better. Uh, this one is uh, another defense percent husk, a little bit of uh, crit damage. Lots of energy recharge, actually, so uh, that's actually quite good for Yunjin, because I think I don't think Yunjin has an 80 cost ult. I think it's more like 70, so still kind of expensive. Not expensive like 80, but more expensive than like a 60 cost ult like Mona's or something like that. Her feather, just a random tenacity feather that I had lying around for double crit. And then flower uh, for the extra crit rate, because uh, obviously my Yunjin is in desperate need of a uh, crit rate. A little bit of energy recharge as well. And then crit damage. Yeah, so, okay, so this is the reason why she has so much, um, so much, uh, crit damage. I did not realize. Um, yeah. This is the only, uh, crit-based, uh, husk, uh, husk piece that I had left. Uh, so I just decided to give it to her, regardless of how it rolled. And obviously it didn't roll very well. I guess it rolled, like, once or twice in the defense percent and once in the crit rate. So it's, it's not the worst thing ever, but... Obviously, there, there's there's some you know room for improvement there. So yeah, I think I'll settle for a two piece husk, two piece um, emblem set for her. I think that would be uh, uh, her optimal artifact set, unless it's something else that uh, might be, might be better technically. Maybe like a uh, two piece uh, husk, two piece uh, archaic Petra, maybe two piece uh, arch archaic um, two piece Geo, just for shits and giggles. I could probably do that, actually. I could probably give her a uh, two-piece uh, Ar Archaic Petra, uh, just so that um, she has the additional uh, Geo bonus damage. In case uh, her um, she has enough uh, energy recharge stats, uh, substats from her from her artifacts. Honestly, uh, with even with her having like 47% energy recharge, that's actually more than enough. She charges her ult quite quickly. Um, at least that's uh, at least that's because I'm running her currently in a geo team, um, not for other, much other reason other than to, like farm friendship uh, for my characters. But um, yeah, I think she charges ult pretty quickly anyway, just because of a uh, because our parry I think at max charge um, generates a lot of particles for her, so that helps her a lot. So I guess uh, in part because of that, she doesn't need uh, like. Too godly uh, of energy recharge substat rolls or something like that. Uh, naturally, she is C she is also C six considering I went for C six Shunha, and her talents as well. Naturally, six 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 or six nine nine. 
uh, along with uh, more Ashen Hearts that I need to farm for later on at some point. I do want to get uh, work on Yunjin's talents, so I'll probably give her whatever um, Ashen Hearts I come across. I'm just really glad that um, Mihoyo uh, didn't forget about parry as a mechanic, and um, they put another parry character into the game. But yeah, just again, like I alluded to before, when I briefly compared Beidou to a Yunjin, in case you guys are thinking like, oh my god, Beidou's parry is power crept. Nah, it's not. The trade-off is that uh, Beidou's parry is a little harder, harder to execute because uh, you can't just like automatically max charge just by holding it down, just uh, kind of like how uh, Yunjin can, but in exchange she gets way more damage out of her out of her parries, typically. Because, um, what is it, what is it, um... Beto is a Claymore user, and Claymores just have better, uh, you know, better uh, efficiencies or better damage numbers anyway, compared to Spears. Uh, whereas the trade-off is that while uh, Yun for Yunjin is that while her uh, while Yunjin's parries are weaker, um, she can at least hold it down uh, for automatic max charges, and she doesn't need to like uh, necessarily like time it for, as an actual parry or a counter, and uh, she can do it whenever she wants, as long as you just hold it down for long enough. So yeah, I'm very happy with the Yunjin. She's also very cute as well. So that's a that's a huge plus in my books anyway. What is this actually? Oh, it's just a cooking uh, a cooking uh, bonus. So yeah, I will work on uh, Yunjin's artifacts in time being, either on a, a two piece emblem or a two piece uh, archaic Petra set for her. Same thing with the uh, Shunha. I'll work on getting uh, my Shunha a double uh, attack percent. Uh, artifact set, and then maybe transition her into a crit-based uh, uh, stat line too, at some point. <gasps> Excuse me. I do think I'll keep uh, Shunha with an attack percent cup, though. I don't think it's worth uh, going for uh, what is it? I don't think it's worth going for cryo damage bonus on Shunha. I do think that you you would like to have her scale with attack percent as much as possible. So there you go. Just for just for the maximum amount of uh, cryo damage uh, damage bonus support. So yeah, those are the four new characters I pre I believe. So let's see. Let's take a look at any other characters that I made changes to in the meantime. Old characters. So uh, now that we have access to our full Sakura tree, as you can see here, uh, as you can see, I finished mine. I finished it just today, actually, just a little bit earlier before making this uh, recording for this video. Um, so yeah, with Enconomia and uh, <coughs> excuse me, with Enconomia uh, region the, uh, that just unlocked and the 2.5. Um, what is this? Okay, it's just a whatever bonus. Uh, with all that uh, and with 2.4. Uh, now we have full access to the Sakura tree, and uh, because of that, I think at level 47. What when do you get uh, when do you get the last crown? Oh, at 45. Okay, so at level 45, uh, Sakura tree, you get its final crown. I think the Sakura tree gives you one, two, uh, three, four, five crowns total. Wow, this thing gives you a fuck ton of crowns. Holy shit! Uh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't quite realize that it give you that many. But yeah, with that final crown, I have now committed, started committing to the triple crown Kokomi dream. So she is uh, going to be triple crowned. I crowned her, uh, her, her ult, obviously, because it's her most, uh, it's her most pivotal, pivotal um, aspect of her kit. And then I'll crown her normal attacks next, and then uh, finally her, her skill last. So. Whenever we do get more crowns in the future, off of um, future future events, hopefully the uh, the lantern right event gives us uh, a crown or two, so I can uh, triple crown um, my Kokomi faster. But yeah, there you go. Uh, her artifacts can still use a little bit of improvement though, as you might expect, because uh, she is on four piece ocean hue. Um, but yeah, ideally I want to try getting uh, some. I still I still want to try getting some better artifacts for her. Um, let's see, her, her, her flower is, is pretty good. 18% energy recharge. Uh, yeah, I would like to find, try to find a better hydro damage bonus cup. Uh, it's either that, or get an off piece one, and replace, uh, replace flower with an inset, a better inset, um, what is it? 
uh, ocean hue flower. And I've got quite a few, so maybe maybe we could tr uh, try our luck and see uh, if there's one that can roll pretty well to like energy recharge and like HP percent or something. <laughs> Excuse me. Again, stuff he knows. Like maybe this one. This one actually might be a good candidate as long as it doesn't roll into a crit rate. But uh, as you all know, uh, whenever you don't, whenever you have the few times where you don't want crit rate stats, the game gives you all the crit rate stats on the on on the fucking face of the earth. So, uh, but yeah, I'll probably try leveling this one up. See how well it levels. Uh, see how well it, its rolls go. Uh, praging for uh, for injury charge and H HP percent rolls. But yeah, we'll see what happens with that one. Let's see. Um, funnily enough, her uh, healing bonus set, uh, her healing, her um, her circle actually is not bad, even though it did roll double crit, because uh, it still rolled once into once or twice into a uh, HP percent and uh, entry charge. So obviously, I would have liked it if uh, it rolled a little more into those. But yeah, still, still, still some room for improvement for my for my Coco. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm having fun with uh, her four piece um, ocean hue set. I do think it's the more effective set over like four piece hydro, but as long as you make make sure to play very aggro with her, yeah, so that her um, so that her ocean hue bombs can uh, can go off consistently, and uh, actually do damage. But uh, yeah, those are my plans with Coco. I'm in love with the. Co Should I even finish that? So yeah, starting to triple crown her, which uh, which is good, it's a nice feeling. Uh, let's see. Uh, my Keking has her skin now, because uh, it seems like they put her, put they put Keking skin up for sale right away, and uh, yeah, she uh, she's looking good. She looks uh, heckin' cute, if I do say so myself. Also, this skin uh, made me realize uh, just how stacked she is, if you know what I mean. As if she wasn't stacked before, though. Let's be honest. Uh, other than that, I think uh, that's about it as far as like character changes are concerned. Uh, yeah, surprisingly, other than the four new characters, not a lot of uh, character changes so far. Well, actually, no. There is one last one. I did roll for an extra copy of Red Horn, Red Horn just so that I can give to Noel. Uh, because with Red Horn, this means that Noel's and, and considering my Noel C6, naturally. Um... This means that she has the potential to become a Giga Chad uh, Geo DPS. So I do want to work on her and take her off this uh, shitty ass support set and um, give her a full on four piece husk, just like with um, Ito. And uh, I believe, what's your talents? Are? Okay, her talents are still 699. So I'll, pr I'll, I will try to get her talents up to a 912 12. Uh, so that just so that she can start hitting like a real big girl. And so, yeah, there you go. Uh, Want to work on Noelle now that she has her own copy of Redhorn. But uh, yeah, we'll see uh, when I can get around to doing that. Uh, now, uh, more, more for, for the first time, more so than the characters, uh, I am actually, I've actually been working on my weapons as of recently, uh, getting, uh, more weapons to level 90, because my ultimate goal for Genshin is to have every character, uh, at max level, which is level 90, level 90, uh, you know, properly geared out with, uh, level 90 weapons, like, as best of the weapons I can, as I can get them, or as I feel like giving them, at least, um... And then max talents, uh, barring crowns, because obviously you can't farm crowns in this crowns in this game. Um, but also, I want to also have at least one copy of every weapon in the game, um, max level. Uh, for five star uh, weapons, obviously I'm not going to count refinement levels because I don't go for uh, extra refinement levels for five star weapons, at least not intentionally. Uh, I, I know some of you guys are gonna be like, but, but, but you have, you have, like, four copies of Wolf, Wolf's Greystone and, and, like, three copies of, you know, Primordial Jane Wingspear. Yeah, it's called fucking Weapon Spooks, alright? Get over it. I didn't ask for the, I didn't ask for fucking five cop, five or four, you know, five copies of fucking Harp, alright? Just letting you know right now. Uh, if I could give these away, I would. Uh, but, um, that being said... Uh, I do want at least one, uh, at least one copy of every weapon in the game, uh, max level, and uh, you know, 
I was about to say max refined, but I was like, wait a minute, what? But in any case. So yeah, as you can take a look for yourself at all the uh, the, the level 90 weapons uh, that I have. Um, let's see. Most of you have seen uh, most of these things. Uh, most of you have seen all of the, all of the top like two rows of weapons. Uh, I did get uh, Unforged to level 90. That was a recent, a recent edition. Uh, also, uh, level 90 Scoured Pride. Uh, also, another recent edition. Uh, some, my Summit Shaper had, had always been at level 80, but I did decide to finish it off and uh, get to level 92. Uh, so, it also joins the pantheon of my level 90 weapons. Uh, currently working on, let's see, Elegy? I was working on Elegy, and then I realized, wait a minute, this thing uh, needs um, the Wolf Fangs, and that's not until tomorrow. But yeah, next weapon that I want to work on is Calamity Queller, Calamity Queller, and then Deathmatch. I believe those two are also Tuesday, Friday domains uh, materials. So this one will get to um, we'll get to level ninety tomorrow. What does uh, Redhorn need again? This is wow. Why does every relevant weapon have materials that only show up in uh, Tuesday and Friday domains? What the fuck? <laughs> but uh, I'll work on. Uh, Leveling my second copy of Red Horn, uh, just for Noel. But uh, yeah, and I also have this uh, a surplus of five, an arsenal of surplus five star weapons, just in case uh, I, we get new characters in the future, and uh, I need to. Uh, I feel like leveling them up. Uh, speaking of weapon spooks, I did get uh, a Sky another Skyward Atlas spook. Normally, I would give it, I would feed it immediately to my Mona so that she would have a higher refinement level on it. But I actually do want to convert my own Barbara to a more DPS set as well. And um, I believe her best DPS book for that matter or for that purpose is also another copy of Skyward Atlas, just like Mona. So I'll probably give this copy to her, uh, level uh, level it up, and uh, make it her own. So yeah. I also got spooked by a, a copy of Lost Prayer, so in case we get another a Catalyst user in the future, like, <coughs> yeah, <coughs> uh, I mean, what? Um, yeah, I could definitely give that to her. Hopefully, it's one of her. Uh, hopefully, it'll be one of her better books, because uh, considering Lost Prayer is uh, is crit rate main stat, so we'll see. Uh, but uh, more so than the five star weapons, I've actually been working on a lot of the four star weapons too. So as you can see, I've gotten a level. I've uh, leveled up uh, Alley Hunter to level ninety. I got uh, Viridescent Hunt, which is one of the BP weapons, also to level ninety. Uh, let's see. I think Dodoko Tales has always been level ninety because I believe this was a, this was a uh, an event book or an event weapon, so uh, it was easy to level up, level up because event weapons have um, event four star weapons have double XP. Uh, for them during throughout their entire durations of their events at least so uh, Getting that leveled up was not bad. Uh, I did level up luxurious sea lord to level 90 I believe sea lord uh, the big uh, the big uh, claymore the fish claymore uh, fish claymore uh, Was also an event weapon so but I didn't get to level uh, level um, 90 or to max level during the event because I was a papega So um, yeah, I did finally get to level 90 same thing with the uh, serpent spine. I'm also using my BP passes to uh, get this to R5 for uh, get this uh, weapon to R5 next. So cause, cause we, since we have a new BP cycle going on right now, uh, I'm going to redeem that for uh, R4 serpent spine uh, whenever I reach the uh, appropriate um, BP threshold for that. Uh, same thing with cinema. No, I think I've gotten cinema spindle to level 90 during the event or during the uh, the dragon spine event. Uh, that we had recently. So I think it was always level 90. I think Festering Desire, yeah, this sword was the one that I got to level 90 recently because just like Cinnabar Spindle, uh, this was also the event welfare uh, four-star weapon uh, for the for the previous or for the first Albedo event that we had. So unfortunately, I didn't, uh, I didn't level it to max level then, but I did now. So there you go. It is now. And so yeah, those are the... Uh, uh, four star weapons that I got that I've managed to get to level 90 so far. Obviously, I'm working on deathmatch because deathmatch as well. Surprise, surprise, uh, also takes materials that show up in only the, uh, the Tuesday and Friday domains. So, uh, I, my next weapon um, leveling plans are obviously calamity queller, deathmatch, and uh, last but not least, uh, what else? Uh, Redhorn, uh, Redhorn for my uh, for my Noel. 
but yeah, uh, now I've gotten and I'm slowly but steadily getting into the process of consolidating my weapons, uh, making sure I have at least one one copy of all the weapons, and then uh, leveling up to max level, blah blah blah, whatever. So there you have it. Those are my weapon plans for now. So yeah, feeling good, feeling good. Thighs. Anyways, uh, me being a creeper aside. Um, so for to just briefly touch over the or just to briefly touch over future content stuff. Um, now that we've gotten uh, Shenha and Yunjin. Uh, and Zhao, obviously, uh, with the banners right now. Uh, I'm not gonna roll on Zhao. I think C my C1 Zhao is perfect is perfectly fine, uh, and I prefer Shenha anyway because waifu. Whereas Zhao is not. Zhao is still cool though. Um, but yeah, I won't roll for more co more constellations of Zhao. I think again, like like I said, uh, I think he's perfectly okay at C1. He does his job just fine, and. Um, uh, once we get second half of 2.4, once uh, Shenhe's and Zhao's banners are up, uh, once they're done, uh, I do plan on getting my Ganyu to C6. Yeah. Ganyu C6. Because right now, currently, she's only at C4. So, uh, I do want her to, want to get her to C6 to for the perfect per, for the perfect Ganyu. So I'm looking forward to that. I probably will not get Zhang Li to C6. First of all, because he doesn't fucking need it. Second of all, uh, because I will have spent way too much money on Genshin for this month or already as is. And uh, we have Yai coming up uh, 2.5 thanks to Paimon's, uh, EN Paimon's drip marketing. So um, yeah, we have that. I have that to prioritize over uh, Zhang Li C6. I don't even know what constellation I'm going to be rolling Yai, on, Yai for anyway. Um, I'm thinking maybe only C2, maybe C4, if her C4 effect is, like, really fucking good or something, but, um, I definitely won't be C6ing Yai, like, right out the gate, uh, because I already did that for Shenha. Like, I would love to, because I like Yai, I, I like Yai just as much as the next, the next degenerate, uh, Genshin player next to me, but, um, yeah. Unfortunately, with how much I got Whale in other gacha games, uh, I just can't afford... Um, going for C6 Yai, uh, basically on the, the, uh, on the second banner after fucking Shenha, so, uh, I would like to space out my rules at least a little bit. If, uh, if, uh, if I can, you know, if I might be so, uh, if I might be so humble. But yeah, uh, Zhongli is gonna stay at C6. I'm sure Zhongli is gonna get more reruns in the future too anyway. Like, give it, give, give it a couple more months, it'll be back soon, uh, soon enough, right? Because, I mean, hell, hell, this upcoming rerun for him is going to be his uh, third banner total. I guess it's technically his second rerun banner, so. He'll be back. He'll be back. So, yeah. Those are the role plans for me personally for the next uh, month or so. What is, uh, what is this picture she's holding, actually? I have a, a picture of a hut or something. Maybe her old home or something like that. I know Shen He's backstory is pretty sad. Pretty, uh, pretty sad. Sad in the rain. But, uh, yeah, other than that, I think that's about it. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for, uh, listening to me ramble about my, uh, my whale-ass Genshin account. And, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys. And peace. <laughs>